hi it's Jennifer from soul source tarot and I'm here to do your daily vibes for around the 20th keep in mind the timing is fluid right it is it is it is so we're just gonna see what comes up we're gonna use the vice versa deck today that means there's stuff on both sides so they're not so anything that comes out reversed it's it's gonna be shown uh, you know, I'm going to fix it. Okay. I'm going to fix it, but it's still reversed. You know what I'm saying? A lot of you won't understand and whatever. Um, but anyway, what do we got? We have the six of swords. So this is moving. This is moving to a better place, leaving the trouble behind something about nighttime. Somebody is making a move, um, at night. It seems like it's a little foggy. There's, um, You know, it's not going to be easy to get through it, but there's light on the other side. It's like, if you can just get through this. So anyway, yeah, it's like you just get through this. Get through this, this turbulence. Get through this uh, fog. Um, things will be better. So somebody is moving. They're moving and they're actually, uh, you know, they're gone. They're going. They're going. So something about leaving. Um... The fool. Well, that makes sense, huh? The fool takes a risk. It's risky. Ready. Ready to leave it all behind. You notice there's a cup that has spilt over down here. Taking the crown off, too. Leaving it all behind. Somebody is ready to just leave it all behind. There is absolutely no doubt about it. Somebody is leaving it all behind. It's like they don't even care anymore. I don't even care. I'm just ready to go. There's been, you know, uh, a loss of love or a lack of love or a lack of emotional fulfillment. And it's like, I'm just, I'm just ready. I'm just ready for something better. Yeah, somebody is making that decision to just pff, not even consider staying anymore. I just, I don't even care about it anymore. So it's like, I don't care. I don't care anymore. I just want to focus on the future. I just want to get to that better place. Somebody is definitely making a move. Nine of Pentacles. Now, somebody could be becoming single, okay? The Nine of Pentacles is for somebody that is very capable, capable very self-sufficient, very graceful. Now, this is, I'm going to put it right here. So, we have somebody that is headed, and they may be headed towards independence. And this is, this is, it looks like somebody is driving somebody away. And that could be taken in a, a metaphorical sense, Somebody's being driven away, you know, metaphorically. It's like, I, this is very much a loner, you know, carefree. And this one is too. So somebody may be choosing to go their own way. They've been driven away, right, by another person. Um, but the, the Nine of Pentacles is somebody that is very capable of success. And this could be even starting an old, your own business, okay? This is a business person, somebody that... Um, has the skills to start over and build up a business on their own and or to build themselves up um you notice that that bunny this bunny uh whenever i see bunnies it reminds me of fertility you know it could be a very fertile time um <laughs> Page of Cups, Queen of Pentacles. Could be dealing with an Earth sign here. We have Earth and Earth here. Could be dealing with a Pisces, Cancer, Scorpio. We could be dealing with an Aries. But this is ready to take a risk and move towards this independent person. This person is self-sufficient. This is a business owner. This is a hard worker. This person takes care of business. This is the Empress in the Minor Arcana. Or Arcana, Arcana, however you say it. It doesn't matter. But this person is, is beautiful. This person is uh, worthy, is valuable. Um, 
stable, solid, secure. But the Page of Cups, the Page of Cups is, and this is like it's an offering, offering love. Um, it's been slow. Something has been slow. Somebody has been reluctant to move towards this person. But there's so much stability here. I mean, this is Mother Earth. She's stable. She's solid. She's secure. Same kind of energy with the Queen of Pentacles. Very wise. The Queen of Pentacles is wise, loyal, motherly. Down to earth, grounded. Holding on to her stability. Holding on to her value. She has the Queen of... I mean, she has a Queen. She has the Ace of Pentacles in her hand. This is a golden opportunity. So I think we have somebody here that sees a golden opportunity. They've lost something. They haven't been feeling loved. They've lost something. And so now they're ready to take a risk and move towards this person who is so capable of taking care of them. So this is a message uh, or a welcome offer of love, the Page of Cups is. It's been slow, though. Your turtle is slow, okay? So somebody has been slow. And you notice the bunny, okay? <laughs> That's funny. Now, what is that? The tortoise in the hair? The tortoise in the hair? Freaking A. That's funny. You see that? It just happened. The tortoise? And the hair. Crazy. But anyhow, and now look at this. We got this golden opportunity. Something you can take to the bank. Okay. So we do have somebody here that is about, is excited, right? This person is getting excited. It's like they see something. They see a golden opportunity. They do. With somebody that is stable, this person is getting ready to take a risk and jump into unknown territory. I feel like this is an exciting opportunity to move forward. And this is like... uh you know, notice this is like coming to the rescue, taking somebody away. Taking somebody, taking somebody away, taking somebody to a better place. Yeah, things are a little foggy, they're a little muddled, but this person is coming. So this person is coming to take you away. They're coming to, re to the rescue. Somebody's coming to the rescue. It's been slow, though. It's been slow going. But this person is looking at love, okay? Um, they probably are starting to develop feelings or something with the Page of Cups. Now, this Queen of Pentacles, Taurus, Virgo, Capricorn, doesn't have to be, is valuable. She has something of value to offer, something that you can literally take to the bank. I mean, this is something you can save, something you can hold on to, something that will grow over time something permanent so i think we have somebody here that sees a golden opportunity this is like they asked for it and and, and now they're, they're they're taking it it's like they're taking it in their hand I'm, i want this i want this i want this stability i want this security so somebody and it's a gift this is a gift hmm I have to look up when I'm shuffling these cards because I just do. The lovers unexpectedly. Yeah, there's an unexpected choice in love. There is. So this is probably meant to be. This is a soulmate connection. This is Venus uh, bringing two people together. It really is, isn't it? These people seem like they're opposites, but they have a lot in common. Um, it's a perfect match. It is absolutely a perfect match. So interesting. This is soulmates. This is kindred spirits. And this is a major choice. So somebody is making a big, huge choice with that Ace of Pentacles I had that I saw. They're making a choice based on what they see. It's like, I see this golden opportunity and I feel the connection. There's some sort of deep connection here. There, there could be a sexual connection as well. There could also be shared values because this is values and this is values and the Ace of Pentacles is values. And this, it's like there's a, there's a connection between two people where there's some shared values. It's it's perfect match. It really is. And this is like falling in love. Don't 
two of cups two of can look at look at it's beautiful it's a mirror it's it is seriously i mean these people are mirroring each other they're perfect for each other there's so many similarities and you notice it's it's like a it's it's just unbelievable i, I don't even know i'm speechless put it that way this is a it's an undeniable connection where two people are are absolutely positively meant to be um, even though there's some differences, they complement each other very well. This is uh, a perfect union, okay? It's a perfect union. It's it's a blessing. It's meant to be. It's it's brought to you from above. It's it is. This is, is this is a divinely guided connection. Knight of Cups on the bottom. Look at that. So yeah, there's an offer of love. An offer of, you know, we got somebody here that's looking for love. Looking for a relationship. Looking for romance. Is ready. Is ready to deepen a connection. Is ready to fall in love. So I think we have two people that are falling in love. Or they are about to fall in love. It's a little bit scary, but it's exciting at the same time. I think there's there may have been, it may have been slow. Things may have been happening uh, slowly over time but this person seems to be ready they're ready this is a solid opportunity with somebody of value that they have some sort of deep connection with there's a deep soulmate connection here that is undeniable there's just so many similarities that it's it's hard to believe it is it is definitely hard to believe so I think we have a, a new beginning. The Fool is a new beginning here. A new phase is about to start. And you are being called to step forward with blind faith. Okay? And somebody is stepping into unknown territory with uh, a soulmate. Okay? There's a deep connection here. There's a little bit of fear, though. There is a little bit of fear. Three of Wands. Get prepared and hope for the best. Just do it. It's time to focus on the future. Leave the past behind and just do it. Just do it and hope for the best, right? Hope and pray that everything is going to work out. It's like... Uh, You've been waiting for this. Here it is. Yin and yang. Like I said, there's differences, but it's a perfect match. It is. It is. It's a perfect match. What the other person doesn't have, the other one does. It's just, it's, it's the missing piece, right? So I think we have two people coming together that are absolutely positively meant to be together. And you think about this Knight of Wands. This is, this is, uh, act now, think later. This is somebody that is, that is moving very quickly in. It's going to go right here into a new relationship. They're moving very fast. There's a spark. There's, there's some sort of attraction. This happened very suddenly. It's, it's shocking, right? But it's undeniable. So I feel like uh, there's there's some sort of uh, exciting new beginning here. Somebody is headed towards this Queen of Pentacles, this this stable, solid individual who knows her value and she has worked hard she's worked hard to obtain her value this is an older person this queen she's she's not a child she's not anybody that's young she is wise you think about horns okay to grow horns like that it takes time okay so this isn't no dough put it that way i mean yeah it's a doe but it's not some a young one it's not a fawn okay this is somebody that has there's a lot of wisdom behind their back this person is headed towards this one 
headed in. There is somebody headed towards this person who is very laid back. This one is laid back, just waiting. Just waiting. Waiting for that match. Waiting. Waiting for the match. Waiting for that one. Waiting for her soulmate. Here it is. So, get prepared for an entrance of some sort. Whatever this is, it's 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 stable. It's solid. This guy has been planning. He's been planning. He's been thinking. He's he's uh, a hard worker. He's stable. He's domestic. He's loyal, and he's passionate too. So he may be moving really slow, but things are about to speed. He may have moved very slow, but the, if something is about to speed up by the looks of things. Things are, yeah, he'd been thinking, he'd been planning, he'd been making sure that this was right. He's not the kind of person that acts foolishly, even though, but he's about to. <laughs> okay, I don't think he does. I don't think he, in general, this is a foolish individual, but I think he's about ready to take a risk because he's ready for love, obviously. He's, he's ready for love. He probably has some sort of, he feels some sort of connection, obviously. Both people do. Both people feel a connection. This is a love connection. There's definitely an attraction. And it's something that could last for a very long time with that Ace of Pentacles. This is something that you can put in the bank. And if you, you know, invest in it, it will grow. So there is a love connection that is about to be um, taken to the bank. Good luck.